Arkansas comes as protests continue around the nation over the death of George Floyd. Right now, a curfew is in effect and will continue into the weekend in West Palm Beach. City officials say it's necessary. CBS 12's Jay O'Brien shows us the curfew comes as peaceful protests continue to sweep our area. Jay? Liz, this is what a curfew looks like on Clematis Street in the heart of West Palm Beach. City officials here are still encouraging peaceful protests and saying they'll do whatever they can to facilitate protesters' safety. It comes as we exit our sixth day of continued protests in our area from Boca Raton up to West Palm Beach and all the way to the Treasure Coast. Powerful voices unmuted by at times driving rain today in Palm Beach Gardens. Among those calling for America's attention on this street corner enough is enough. was Michael Hensley. I won't stop until this stops. Nine years old. I don't want my kids to grow up in a world where they're scared to drive, go anywhere. I want this to end right now. Enough. The elementary schooler led his fellow protesters in chants. I can't breathe! The same kind echoed by peaceful marchers miles away in downtown West Palm Beach. It's been nearly a week of protests in Palm Beach County, the second march in this city since police and protesters clashed on Sunday, resulting in a curfew. I feel that we needed that curfew on Sunday. And some of the actions that have taken place since that kind of gave us the indication that we continue to need the curfew. As peaceful protesters continue to voice outrage in the daylight. After dark, the curfew continues. Businesses on streets like Clematis still must close up by 9 p.m. Shopping, dining, and gathering banned with cops ready to enforce it. As the mayor of the city, I take the curfew very seriously. Most of these protests have happened in the afternoon and early evening because of the curfew and have cleared up before nightfall. That is the plan for tomorrow when there is another protest planned in the afternoon in West Palm Beach. I'm Jay O'Brien, CBS 12 News.